Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce possessive adjectives in the dative case. In an earlier presentation, we saw that possessive adjectives show ownership of something or a relationship between things. We saw that these adjectives must be placed before the thing that is possessed. In this sentence, her comes before car, indicating ownership of the vehicle. The adjective her suggests that the person possessing the car is a woman. You may want to review that presentation before continuing with this one. Possessive adjectives in German are organized by person, case, gender, and number. The adjective roots, which you see here, always stay the same and refer to the person who possesses the object. The endings you put on these roots, however, change to indicate the case, gender, and number of the noun that follows. Let's walk through this concept step by step so that you can understand it better. The endings for possessive adjectives are the same as those found on indefinite articles. These endings indicate the case and gender of the noun that follows. For example, the dative masculine ending is EM, the dative feminine ending is ER, and the dative neuter ending is EM. Note that the dative masculine and neuter endings look the same. These endings also indicate the number of the noun that follows. The adjective endings we saw on the previous slide, since they all modify a singular noun, are all singular endings. If the noun that is modified is plural, then you will need to use the dative plural ending en. Let's now take a look at how to apply these rules. I'll use an example that has ein as part of the root, so you can see the similarity between possessive adjectives and indefinite articles. In the sentence you see here, ich gebe seiner Mutter das Buch, I give the book to his mother, the adjective ending indicates that the following feminine noun, Mutter, is both singular and in the dative case. The root of the possessive adjective indicates a relationship between the mother and the male person, her son. We can change the root of the possessive adjective to change this relationship. Ich gebe ihre Mutter das Buch. I give the book to her mother. Although the root of the adjective changes and, is no, long, and no longer has ein in it, the adjective ending still remains the same. The following feminine noun is still singular and in the dative case. Note that there is some ambiguity with this sentence as the possessive adjective ihr can also be third person plural, which would mean, I give the book to their mother. In situations where the possessive adjectives are the same, you simply need to understand the meaning of the sentence from the context. Let's change the gender of the noun that is modified by the adjective. Ich gebe ihrem Vater das Buch. I give the book to her father. Since the noun in this sentence is masculine and in the dative case, it must take em as an ending. The root, however, stays the same indicating a relationship between the father and the female person, his daughter. The first and second person plural adjectives present us with some difficulties as they both contain an unstressed interior vowel. For example, in the sentence you see here, Ich gebe unserer Mutter das Buch, I give the book to our mother, it is difficult to pronounce the interior e and the root when the data feminine ending er is added on. It is not uncommon, therefore, to drop this interior e when the first and second person plural adjectives add an ending. For example, ich gebe unsere Mutter das Buch. This is much easier to pronounce. We can change the root of the possessive adjective to indicate a change of ownership or relationship, but the dative plural ending will stay the same since Mutter is still the indirect object in the sentence. The sentence now reads, ich gebe eure Mutter das Buch. I give the book to your mother. We have, however, the same difficulty from the prior sentence. The interior E is difficult to pronounce. We can again drop the interior E, Ich gebe eure Mutter das Buch, which makes the sentence much easier to pronounce. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. 
The videos, scripts, and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.